Hey guys, this is Rishi from Flying Cart, and I'm going to show you how to get your products into Google Product Search. So what is Google Product Search? It is Google's product search engine. So click on shopping at the top, and if we search for, let's say, sunglasses, you'll be able to see all the different type of products that are in Google's engine. And what's cool is you can actually get listed on here for free. Google offers you to submit a data feed. I'm going to show you how to set that up and get it going. So we're in your flying cart store and your dashboard and you want to scroll down and click on marketing and then advanced. And you're going to notice two things. One is Google verification and the next is Google product search and we need to fill both of those out. Um, so open up a new tab um, or a window and go to google.com slash merchants. And you want to log in with your Google Checkout ID or your Gmail account or your Google account if you had one, or you want to create a new one. And to save time, I actually uh, have it open already, already logged in. And you want to click on Add Account. And you want to fill out your company organize, or company name, your description, and your website URL. Um, so for company name, um, this company is called Daniel Urban Clothing. Um, and for your description, I kind of have something already prepared, but you want to make this very specific to what you're doing, um, and you want to make it readable by humans uh, so that people can read it. Google does take this into account for keywords, so you want something good and describes your store really well. The next thing they want is your website URL. So go to your settings page and click on store. And if you're using a custom domain, uh, you want to enter that in. If you're not using a custom domain, then you want uh, your subdomain. In this case, their domain custom domain hasn't been set up properly, so we're going to use their subdomain. So again, this is actually pretty important. If you're using a custom domain, then you use the custom domain. If you're using a subdomain, if you only have a subdomain, then you want your subdomain URL. So we're going to click on this here and click on website. You're, you're, we're going to paste that into the website URL. So since they're not using custom domain, uh, we're entering the flying card subdomain and we're going to click save changes to create our account. This usually takes a few seconds. Google likes to verify that that website actually exists. So it takes, you know, anywhere from three to 10 seconds. In the meantime, I'm actually going to go ahead and move us back to the uh, marketing advanced section to save some time. All right, great. So our account has been created. And the next thing they're going to want us to do is verify the URL. And they say it right here, please verify and claim your website's URL. And we're going to, you can do this in the general settings page. So click right here, general settings. And this is already populated. We just entered this in. And we're going to click on verify this URL. And we're going to click on alternate methods. And we're going to do the add a meta tag to your site's home page. And we're going to copy this long meta tag um, like that. And we're going to paste that into the verification section. And notice there's no spaces here. We don't want any spaces here. You won't be able to save, and it won't work if there's a space right here or right here. So make sure there's no spaces and hit save settings. So once that's saved, go back to this, and we want to scroll down and hit verify. And this will verify our store. And the next step is to claim this URL. So click Claim. Great. So now we've verified and claimed the URL. Uh, this is going to end part one. In part two, we're going to go through submitting your products to Google Product Search. So watch part two next. Thanks.